What's good everybody? Welcome back to Dystera. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. In this video we're going to take a look at the early access release of Dystera. I've been waiting a long long time for this. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively guys. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. I can't do it without your guys' help. So yeah, if you could show your support, man, I'd really, really appreciate it. I have noticed there's a large percentage of you guys that are watching the videos that are not subscribed. Look, it doesn't cost you any money to just hit that sub button. So yeah, obviously, if you want to show your support to the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so we've had a couple of uh, pre-tests on this game in the past, on the demo, and uh, a little bit of like beta testing on the game uh, I thoroughly 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 enjoyed what I've seen the game looks amazing um, hopefully it uh, lives up to the expectations that I've got of the game uh, if you want a couple of games to sort of compare it to I would say it's a little bit like sort of rust and arc and them type of games where you have sort of like official servers and stuff like that so it's it can be PvP it can be PvE um, so you can sort of choose whatever you want. We can't do the single player at the moment, which is a little disappointing. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, custom servers is not working. You've got Twitch drops as well. So any of you guys that are on Twitch, uh, you've got Twitch drops. We've got early access events and feedback. Obviously, these are all coming soon as well. The only thing we can really do at the minute is the official servers, which is fine by me. Uh, we've got the profile here, which um, I'm guessing this is from when I've played it before, maybe. I don't know. Um, global rank iron so there's like ranking and achievements and stuff like you got PvP kill death PvE kill and score as well excellent this is all new so I'm just checking it out quickly oh, okay so we've got rankings now as well eh? mm, interesting so these are like top tier aren't they I guess okay very very interesting indeed so we've got server ranking global ranking We've got storage here, but it's coming up connection delayed. So I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know why I'd have storage. I don't understand this. Um, is this stuff that I've got in the past? I don't know. We've got a shop as well. We've got Terra Shop. Uh, so you can actually buy containers and stuff. And then obviously you've just got your settings. I might possibly turn... Yeah, I was going to turn the music just down a little bit it's quite loud um right so without further ado obviously this is an early access test the game doesn't get released till the 20 i think it's the 23rd of november um so yeah so we are having a super early access look at the game um so we're gonna have to go to these official servers here we'll see if something pops up uh looks like you've got asia and america um, we could have issues there, unfortunately, because I'm in Europe. Are there are no Euro servers. This could take a while. Uh, hopefully, we can get to play. I'll be really disappointed if we can't. Oh, there we go. Right. So, yeah, so we've only got America and Asia. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go for America because the ping's slightly better there than Asia, I guess. So we'll have to join the American server. Okay, so like I said, it is a an official server. So obviously this is going to be more PvP. Um, but I do want to check the game out. I'm, I'm hoping on the 23rd of November when the game f gets sort of like... I say fully released, but it won't be fully released. It will be early access. Um, can you let me in the server? Um, yeah, so obviously on the 23rd, the game does get like a full release, but it's early access, full release, if that makes sense. Oh, we've got character customization. This wasn't... We never had this before. Okay, I'll go for mail, I guess. Did we have this before? I can't really remember. Maybe we did. I don't know. Okay, hair color. Can, yeah, I've, I, I, I have no hair. Machine arm. Do we have like a... Yeah, that's quite cool. Looks quite rustic. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, we can zoom in. Can we spin him round? Oh, we can. Okay, let's create. Would you like to go through the mission guide? Uh, sure. Oh, what's this? Like a little cutscene. It's 
quite cool, man. The graphics are real nice on the game. It's a very lovely looking game. Hopefully it's optimised enough where it runs quite well, though. We shall see. It's better to consume food resources after cooking. Oh, I didn't see that. When you get stuck in the terrain or between objects, type escape. Okay. Ignoring adverse status effects like being uh, famished can lead to your character's death. Yeah. So it is very survival based. It's like futuristic survival based. Uh, day one on Earth, Terra Fire erupts in 160 days. Okay. Hey, it looks like you survived the landing. I'm Vanessa. I'll be helping you during your exile here on Earth. Orbis sent you down here because it needs TerraSight to run its space station. It's a dangerous job, so criminals and outcasts like you are the ones they sent down here to mine it. Regardless, your first goal right now should be learning how to survive down here. Okay, I just want to check some the, the... keys to move around. Hold the sprint key while moving to sprint. I'm going to put you these up to high. The of landing. Press the key to use the bandage in one of the quick slots at the bottom of your screen. Epic. No, I want them on high. I, it didn't... I put it down to medium just to see how how it ran. Um, it doesn't really seem to have changed much though. I remember the graphics being a little bit better than this. But okay. Well, what do we got to do? I didn't even I didn't even hear what she said. Use a bandage. Okay, so three. At the bottom left corner of your screen, there's a flashing green bar. It's flashing. That means you're low on energy right now. Press okay, the so number of the four. quick slot with a battery pack to recharge your machine arm. You can find more battery pack in a nearby abandoned. This island is dangerous, so stay close to the coast for now. You can check the danger level of your current location on the mini map in the upper left corner of the screen. Okay, I see it. Orbis gave you a machine arm and bionic eyes. So you could mine Terracite more easily during your exile. Press Vision Key to activate your vision scan. Use it to easily find items you can interact with. Press Vision Key again to deactivate it. Your vision scan ability consumes energy while it's active. So be sure to turn it off to save energy. You can use a battery pack again to recharge your energy. Now it's time to make sure you don't starve to death. Look for some canned food in an abandoned building nearby. To be safe, get your gun ready by pressing the number of the quick slot with a pistol. You never know what danger you'll come across. Use the vision scan in an abandoned building to find canned food more easily. You can press interaction key to pick it up and put it in your inventory. Okay, I've done that. Use old can of beans. Oh, we've got to use it. Okay. If you're hungry, you can gather edible plants like mushrooms in the wild. You can also hunt animals and cook their raw meat using a barrel grill or a grill. Okay. It looks like you found everything. Press crafting key and select one of the armor pieces with an exclamation mark beside it to craft some new armor. You'll find all kinds of crafting recipes saved on your machine arm. Okay, so press U and craft the piece of armor, okay. Uh, I guess a fiber shirt. Can we craft all of them? Fiber pants. Fiber boots. You can equip the armor you just crafted by double clicking on it from the inventory. But to gather more materials, you need to explore deeper into the island. And there's a good chance you'll get hurt while you're at it. A healing protocol can instantly restore your health, but uses some of your battery. Try crafting a healing protocols. Okay. Craft. Craft healing protocol at the workbench or by pressing U. A healing protocol. What the hell is that? Oh, with this. We need five chips. Okay, so we need to go find some chips. 
yeah, so the tutorial is very good. Um, the tutorial was very good before. So, take all, thank you. We had a little bit of lag. Um, yeah, so obviously we are on a server. We are on the American server, so we may get a little bit of lag. Um, it is running very nice, obviously. Initially, we had a little bit of lag. But now it seems to have sorted itself out. I'm guessing, obviously, it's loading in everything, isn't it? So you're going to get a little bit of lag. Uh, we need to try and find some chips, though. What's up? We've got a message. It's got loads of new messages. Ten new messages. I'm just trying to... Find these chips. Is he okay, or...? No, he's he's still alive. An outdated domestic android. You can only find them in the museum back on Orbis. It should be helping people, not attacking them. Oh, he's freaking attacking me! Us a lot back when we pioneers stayed in these buildings. It's sad to see what's happened to them. Yeah, tell me about it. Just attacked me, bro. Okay, so we need to find some more of them guys. Oh, I'll take that. Some fiber. Uh, there's a way, I was going to say, there's a way you can get up again. Take the beans. Get up here. Hello? Nothing up here. Really? Is that going to hurt? No. Right. With balsa. There's normally a little vent thing out. So we need to find some more guys, I think, because we need some chips. What is this? Old electrical wire. Grab it then. More fiber. We need to find some more guys then. Okay, so we need to try and find. We need to go to the next building. I was gonna say, I think there was one this way, wasn't there? Seems like the guys are where the chips are at. Okay. Headshots do more damage. That's nice to know. Oh, we got a wrench. Not that I'm really going to use a wrench, but okay. So you guys have probably seen this tutorial a couple of times. We have done it a couple of times. Uh, I I am just going. Oh, what was that? Something flicked up here. Oh yeah, the rubble's the rubble was glitched out. Yeah, there are going to be some bugs and stuff. Obviously, it is still early access. It hasn't even been fully released yet. This is an early, early, early look at the game. All right, let's go up. Grab that. Go in here. We're trying to find chips. I don't think there's... I'm guessing there's one guy per... Oh, we do need to eat again. I'm going to put another battery in as well. <clears throat> I had a feeling that was going to hurt, but it didn't. Uh, we need more buildings then, so I think I've seen one over this way. Yeah, so the graphics are actually really nice. I don't know what, maybe I'd, I'd, obviously because I upped them. I don't know how it's running. Seems to be running okay. Some mushrooms. It's a bit weird, like when the guy takes something, he like, it shudders. It's a little strange. I'll take the metal. Is he gonna come alive or yeah he is? Oh that was dumb. Wow, my sh my shot is off. That hurt. Another chip. How many chips have I got now? Three. Need two more. I'm hoping to see if I can just find one lying around. I 
don't want to keep killing guys because my, my shot is trash at the minute. Okay, let's go up. There's normally cloth there, okay. Nothing. I shall take. Thank you. Let's go up. Ooh. Bandage. Two bandage. Okay, let's uh, continue on. There's a blue building. Hello? I heard someone come alive. I don't know where... Here he is. Beautiful. Take that. So we need one more. Press tab. Yeah, we need one more. So one more building. Or, if we can find one, that would be nice. Oh, beans. Hmm, beans. Let's get up. I'm guessing you have to find them by killing the guys, I think, by the looks of it. Anything or nothing, anything or nothing. Ah! I need to go up top because there's normally some good loot up here. Nothing. Right, we need another building then. Ouch. Uh, I'm not seeing any more this way though. I can hear something humming. Oh, we're going to have to go back this way. We've got some people entering. So we're not alone. Thought I could hear footsteps there. Maybe we go up a little bit. Yeah, sod it. Let's go up. Let's get this chip. Hello? Oh, there he is. It scared me then. Perfect. And my chips. So we press U. Healing protocol. Craft it. Perfect. The crafted protocol under your character in the inventory menu. Once added. You can use it by pressing its exclusive quick slot key. Use it by pressing the sign Z or you need X. Materials to Z. Craft a new firearm. I think you'll need to fight a combat robot, so make sure to get some ammunition, food, and medical supplies before you leave. Defeat Orbis Assault Robots 3. Okay. I mean. Okay. Got a vehicle here. Oh, we can actually take that one. I think we can use to get some ammo from here. Okay. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Even though my shot's a little, a little bummed. Let's have a look. Okay, you were you pretty quick. Some of the weaker combat robots down here. Still, they can pose a threat if they gang up on you. Ooh. There's one going up these steps here. Where's another one?
nice. Someone's got a base there. Interesting. Okay, I'm not finding any more little icons, so I need to find one more though. Hmm. Okay, let's. Someone's got a base here. Oh, there's loads of animals here. I see one in the distance there. Got him. I'm coming at you, bro. Whoa! That was a crazy little move. Die sooner or later. You'll need a respawn point when that happens. You'll need to install a sleeping bag or a bed to respawn if or when you die. Craft a sleeping bag, add it to a quick slot, then place it on the ground. You can also store some items in it once you have installed. You okay. should pick an obscure spot so other exiles don't destroy your sleeping bag. Okay. Have some bullets. Hmm, an obscure spot, you say. I'm just trying to grab this terror site while I'm here. Because I know how handy this can be. Press U to craft the sleeping bag and place it on the ground. Right, let's press U. Sleeping bag. Craft. Place it on the ground. I might go... Is that an animal up there? It is. I'm trying to think of an air. I might go back. I'm going to try and go back towards the, the coastline, I think. Try and hide it out somewhere. I'm going to run along this area here. I'll have a little scout around. Let's have a look. The hell is that? How oh, is that big thing out there? Okay, I'm gonna keep running this way for a sec. I wonder if we can get out to that. I don't think we can. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take our uh, sleeping bag and I'm gonna place it. I think in that in this thing here. I think just so it's sort of out of the way. But yeah, I mean, so far so good. Like I said, I, I know I've played this game a couple of times before, but it is a very, 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 very good game. It is really good. Ah, oh, it's all blocked off. What was that? Thought I heard some noise then. Can we? No, we can't do anything with the trees. Okay. Just checking. Is this like corn or something? No. It's all blocked off. Can we get up there somehow? Oh, if I can get over there, it'll be perfect. Oh, <gasps> look at this. This is it. This is the base right here. I mean, yeah, we could have just run around there, I guess, but. Okay, is there a little, a little bit out here? It doesn't look like it. No, okay, that's fine. This is base. Hidden behind these rocks is perfect. Right, okay, so let's press eight. What does he, What do you mean? Ignore. Ignore map. What do you mean? Oh, 
Why can I not rotate? You're in an area that doesn't allow building, find somewhere else to. What? What? That, nah, I don't like that. You should be able to build wherever you want, man. Oh, so the blue dots. You can't, that's real bad, man. I don't like that. That's a perfect spot for a base, man. the hell is that? Can I like get out of this a sec? Ah, oh, because someone else's base. Hello? Sorry, 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 sorry. Huh. That's really annoying, that is. I should be able to build where I want to build, right? Okay, we're going to find somewhere else then. So it seems like you can't go too close to the, to the beach then. Hey, look. It's got like, all red here now. You can't go too close to the beach. Interesting. Right, well, I'm gonna go right here then. Press map key and open the map to see the location of your sleeping bag or bed. When okay. you select my bed from the respawn screen, you'll be respawned at the location of that sleeping bag or bed. However, when you respawn, you'll lose the items you were carrying except for the ones in the secure slots of your inventory. The rest will be dropped at the spot of your death. You have to go back there and retrieve them before someone else takes them. Let's craft a sturdier piece of armor. Craft one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark. Uh, it actually says I'm starving. Uh, I think I need to bandage up as well. <laughs> Took a bit of a beating. I suppose this is not a bad area. Oh, I didn't realize I had this gun. We've got quite a bit of room, haven't we? To be fair, that's actually quite hidden quite nicely because it's green, I think. Sleeping bag, yeah, that's mine. Uh, okay, so we press U. We click armor. Fine armor. So we've just got a fiber shirt, and this is fine fiber. Okay. Oh, sorry. Craft. Craft. I can't craft anymore. I can craft the jacket and the pants. We need some more terracite. Oh, so it pops up. Stuff that you need. That's quite cool. Tells you where, like, cloth and terracite is. Interesting. More powerful weapon and equipment increase your chance of survival. Now you're going to venture out into more dangerous areas. The battle will be tougher. So make sure to get ammo, food, and medical supplies. No, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I ain't ready to... Look, it says, defeat Hydra Gun Shielder, defeat Hydra Scout. Hell no. I can't defeat any of them yet. We need a little bit more of a footing. We need, yeah, we need better weaponry. We need better armor. Uh, I did that and that. I need to do the boots. Inventory. There we go. Perfect. And once we get the boots. Boom. Did I craft... Fine fibre, fine fibre, fibre. Uh... Fine fibre. We need more fibre. Why did I do them boots? Uh, I need to find some more fibre. Ok. 
guess, in here, isn't it? Let's go back to the pistola. We're out, we're out of bullets. Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to crack on with bullets and stuff, man. I'm gonna hit this up. Okay, fiber. Take that, that's quite cool. Uh give me you. Yeah, fine fiber boots. Let's get them going. So like with this then, can we... Oh, we can discard it, but that's... Let's just get rid of it. Right, okay. So we need to set up a little bit more of a better you base, I think. You need in your inventory in order to reload your weapon. How much ammo you have is displayed in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can always craft more if you have the materials on hand. Oh no. Um, so if we go you. Uh, weapons. Oh, it's just, okay. So this gun. Oh, there's a guy there. I don't want to kill anyone. I'm 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 good. So we got 35. I don't know if this light ammo is for this gun as well. Oh, it is. Okay. Let's craft a load. Salt rifle. That's what I've got. Okay, battery pack is that. Yeah, I think I need like we need to start getting a bit of a better better base up, but obviously I don't know if I'm ready to kill these guys. Oh look, this guy's already setting up a base man. Do you know what? Can I pick this up? Let me move this out a little bit. I don't want to build too close to that guy. We're going to be like a nomad. We're going to move around. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. Something just crashed though. Right, unfortunately guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. You can go check it all out. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well. Very handy little tool indeed. Uh, let me know as well in the comments down below, guys. What do you think of this game so far? And uh, yeah, until the next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out. <laughs>